Well, now we learn about type 2. In our previous lesson, I have showed you the works of pen tool and curvature tool. And type tool is also very much interesting whenever you will do work. Type tool is only for writing. If you take this and click here, left click here, then you will get the text. And you can increase it from here. Or you can change the character from here. That means bold or thick or italic or regular. And you can change the style from here. You can either write down the name and you will get it. Otherwise, you can check it from the arrow key. There are lots of default text are there. You can take any one if you want like. If you press Ctrl T, then you will get this option also. That means this character window from here. You can change this also. And you can check the style italic regular bow was up there just take it and this one this is the size of the text it's increase well and this is the gap of two line if I press ctrl a and if i increase the size let's see what are the changes are happening well and this is this is putting gap in each and every letter between every letter well and if you want to write down then just press backspace and write anything and control a change the style from here well you can take anyone and if you want to change the color you can take the color from here and there are libraries from the library you can take lots of colors but so I'm deleting it suppose you are gonna write a page or a brochure and you need some dummy text and you want to keep that in a paragraph so how to do that just Take the type tool it has already been taken and make a rectangle by pressing the left key of the mouse and drag i'm pressing ctrl a and i'll decrease the size like this well, i'm showing this here again i'm taking the text tool that means type tool whenever you'll get it just draw a rectangle here and you'll get it Press Ctrl A and Ctrl T for getting this because there are lots of gaps between the sentences. I have to decrease this. I have to make it 40 or auto. Just click here auto. Well, if I press Ctrl A, Ctrl C and then Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. Well, now you can see a plus sign here. Can you see a plus sign here? Yeah. Yes. Well, that plus sign shows that there are more text on this. This plus sign shows that there are more text on the either you have to increase the box, then you will see all of the text, or if you don't increase the box, just take the text tool and click here and select all decrease the size well if you increase the size it goes outside the box understood now i have just clicked here one time i have just clicked here one time and i'll draw it again i'd get another one so it's not so much difficult so if i just click here in the plus sign and then you will get your text here and it will make another line so i'm pressing ctrl minus i have to change the text color because 
in black you can't see clearly I'm changing it to white well now you can see in the black well now you see that what is this showing this paragraph this and this is showing that you have ended your line here and it has started here from here and it has ended here and it starts from here and if you change it that means well my computer is getting a little bit slow well if I select this one and if I take it here and this line will go with this that means wherever you go this line will go with this and it's very funny so if you come here then you can see that it's showing the same direction understood because because this paragraph a paragraph er text er line ta ekhane shesh hoye geche full stop ekhan theke giye ekhan theke abar shuru hoye geche ekhan theke ekhane lekha shesh kore abar edik theke eshe ei jaygay shuru hoye geche jate apni erokom paragraph lekhar shomoy kon tar pore kon ta eta easily find out korte paren that's why eta eta diye erokom kore diyeche mane eta first etar pore eta paragraph etar pore eta paragraph थार्डिंग I find each and every tool and work is very interesting in Illustrator. Well, then I'm taking the area type tool. So what it does, I'm taking rectangle, and if I click here and make a rectangle and changing the color so that you can understand better and. I'll take the area type tool. I'll just click here, and you will get on the get the text on the area. So what you will do whenever you will write a book cover, that time you need to put some text like this. Just take this and put it here so that it looks good in the back of the book cover. I am holding and pressing the left button of the mouse and copying one. Well. so like this you can put understood well and then i am deleting this after that if i take another shape like round and make this shape by pressing and holding the shift key in the keyboard take the area type tool and just click here you will get the text inside the round and it's looking very good if you need to make some designs sometimes like that you can do it otherwise if you want to take star tool then hold and press the shift and make a star and i told you if you need it a triangle just take it and hold and press the left button of the mouse and drag it and press the down arrow key for taking a triangle well i have just got that and if i take the area type tool and if i click here then i'll get it in triangle well and then again if i take the star tool and make a star well 2 3 4 well now you take the area type tool and click here you will get the text on the star well so this is so interesting i think I'm not selecting all of them and deleting this. After that, we'll check out type on a path tool. Path means we know writing on any path. I told you already, and I have um, discussed lots of things about pen tool, all of the pen tool and curvature tool. Take the pen tool, and it's plus. So, if you get your cursor like this, you have to think that my caps lock is on. and just click here 
and hold and press the lever on the mouse and drag it down and just click here and go there and go up and just click here well after that select this and if you select this i want to take this only stroke not the fill well now i'll take the tool type on a path and just i'll click here i'll get it on my path so i'm decreasing the size from here you can decrease the size also and you can change the style anything you want to do you can take and then you can change the color from here well, now you have seen and if you want to move this here that means in the downside you can see a handle here yeah just drag it down it will rotate in the downside understood yes very good and that's also very interesting and now we'll take a vertical tool. Vertical means will come in the downside. I'll just click here and it will come in the downside if you write anything. From here you can change the style, you can change the color, anything. And change the color, you can change the size, anything you want. Control J, well, I'm increasing the size, it's 72. I'm putting here, well, it's not, I have to change the size from here, 72, no, it's increased, well, you can change the color, just, just click here in the middle and select all of them and change this color, take any of the color you want, so this is the vertical type tool, well, what happens if I, if I apply here, vertical area type tool, well, uh, if I apply in a rectangle, I'm making a rectangle. And after that, I'm taking the vertical area type tool. And if I just click here, well, I didn't get the tool yet. Just click here. And it will apply vertically. I'm decreasing the size so that you can understand it better. Well, and pressing Ctrl A, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Well, like this Ctrl A. And the gap is very much, and I'm decreasing the gap 24. Well, you will get it vertically. Whoa, oh, wow. Actually, you can do lots of fun with this type tool. And we thought that type tool is not so much interesting, it's a boring tool. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, I have taken a shape, and I'm taking the vertical area type tool. I'll just click here, and I'll get all of the text vertically, like this. And pressing Ctrl A, I'm changing the color, and then you can change the size also from here. That click here, and you can put the gap. Well, I'm putting it 36. So each and every gap will be same, and you can see a plus sign. That means you have to increase the box. Do it with pressing Shift, like this. Understood, Tanbir? Yes, and vertical type on a path tool. Well, this is also same. I am taking the pen tool. I'll just click here, left click, and I'll come here, and then I'll click here. After that, I'll go there. I'll go up and click here. And after that, select this, select this one, and make it none. Take the stroke color any. And after that, take the tool, vertical type on a path tool, just click here, it will write vertically. Watch it. So I'm changing the color so that you can understand better. I'm taking another color now. Well, this thing. Well, you can change the style from here. You can do anything as you want. And I'm deleting this. Now we'll check out uh, the tool. Touch type tool. Well, let's see what does this work. 
touched so well i'm taking rectangle tool first and making rectangle well and then i'll write down anything i'll write down this this is my text and i'm placing it here suppose i have written a page or magazine a book doesn't matter just take the task type tool and click in any letter in the paragraph just you will get a square sign and decrease it well decrease it from here so that it gets increased well like this so sometimes if you want to highlight this that we have uh, we have read lots of books literature and uh, funny books or poetry that time we have seen that the first letter is big like this and if you want that you can rotate this you can rotate it in any direction if you want you can take it like this well keep it like this it has broken broke by strong well if you want you can take it in any direction and if you want to increase it at the last you can just do it just click here and increase this and just if you want to do it in the middle just increase this it's not a very big deal just you have to put the gap here because it's looking out it's on the text that's why understood